Christian evangelist Billy Graham has died. Word came this morning that the 99-year-old passed away at his home in North Carolina. Billy Graham is credited with bringing the born-again religious movement into the American mainstream. His message and his service to U.S. presidents, from Dwight Eisenhower to George W. Bush to Barack Obama, earned him the nickname America's Pastor. Life magazine listed him as one of the 100 most important Americans for the 20th century. Graham's influence was felt here in Madison as well. Chris Dolson is the senior pastor at Black Hawk Church. Welcome to Live at Four. Chris, Thanks nice for being to with see us today. You. Great to be here. Thank what, you. What, what was your reaction this morning when you heard the news? Yeah, I, Dr. Graham's 99, so you know we've kind of been expecting this kind of thing. But uh, yeah, it's sadness and uh, shock, you know, a little bit because uh, such a great as you said, such a great man. He was truly one of a kind. Absolutely, he? absolutely. How so? Yeah, I mean, he really embodies what I think Christ followers should be. You know, people who uh, should be known to be kind and loving and forgiving, compassionate. And that was Dr. Graham. I think he really stayed on message. You know, he's, you know, can you imagine all of the years that he preached and all the different things that he saw? And he always stayed on target stayed on message, which was the gospel. And he was very clear about the gospel, tried to communicate that in a very clear way. And he did non that- Nonpartisan way. Nonpartisan way. And you know, so he was friends with different presidents of different, you know, stripes. So I mean, wow, that's powerful. Yeah, he, he, was, he was influential for such a long period of time. Did his views change as society changed? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, he really stayed, his belief in the scriptures stayed constant. His belief in the gospel, the good news about Jesus Christ, Christ died on the cross for our sins. When we place our faith in Christ and Him alone, we enter into a relationship with God. That was His message, and He, he stayed on that message, never veered off of that message. Is there anyone today who you think has His kind of messaging? Uh, the in, in terms of being inclusive yeah. and uh, right. non-shaming and non-partisan. Yeah, I think there's one Dr. Graham, <laughs> really. I mean, he's unique. Uh, the, the, I don't know how many millions of people came to faith in Jesus Christ through Dr. Graham. I don't think there's anyone like that today. So where do they turn? Well, hopefully, as Dr. Graham would want people to turn to the Bible and turn to the Lord. And um, obviously that can be done in all kinds of different ways and different venues and different sides. Different people, men and women, carry that message, the same message that Dr. Graham had. And uh, so we want people to do that. You're the pastor of one of the biggest congregations in Madison. Do you feel a hunger in people for this kind of connection? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, life is difficult and at times it's overwhelming. And uh, people get to a place where uh, they want to know if anybody cares about what's happening in their life. And hopefully, uh, Christ followers can be kind and compassionate and listen. And uh, as we are in the community, we care about things that matter to people, justice issues, uh, those kind of things. People go, hey, I'm, I wonder what those people believe about what's happening to me right now. It's such a divisive time in this country right now. What's the message? And politics are controversial mm -hmm. when it comes to religion. Yeah, I mean, I feel like love kind of cuts through all kinds of barriers, you know. I mean, when you're loving uh, and kind to people, I mean, Dr. Graham was with people who had substantial disagreements with him about faith issues and politics and stuff like that. But I mean, he's an example to us. I mean, we need to be able to reach across all kinds of different kinds of barriers, listen to people and love people, even if they disagree with us. I mean, especially if they, you know, that's so important. I mean, Jesus said, you know, we should love our enemies. So I mean, you know, loving is not about if I agree, I'm only gonna love people who agree with me. That's not Jesus. So Jesus loves everyone and we should be the same. And it wasn't Billy Graham either. Not, not at all. Yeah, one of a kind, that's for sure. Absolutely, yeah. Pastor, thanks for Chris, being with us today. Chris, great to see you. Thank yeah, you for great. coming Well, thank today. you. You're so kind to have me. Thank you All so right. much. And we'll be right back.